Okay, how are we doing? Um, it's me and the bad bear. Here's one. That is uh, Walter Becker's solo on Steely Dan's uh, Bad Sneakers. <clears throat> and when Katie Live came out, it was one that just really jumped out at me. Um, you know, for, it's just it's a lovely choice of notes and stuff. Now you'll notice, um, I didn't have a lot of run throughs, I'm just playing like that off the top of my head. But you'll notice one thing it doesn't have, is it doesn't have a lot of finger vibrato, it's played very, very straight down the line. Now what I mean by that is the lines, for example, to begin with you've got the... There's not a lot of... No, it's not played like that, it's like... Then the climb... No, it just sits there. Right? So, shall we get into that? Because this is a Steely Dan solo that pretty much, you know, anybody could have a go at and play. And, uh, Ted's not really into Steely Dan. He's not a big fan, you know. Like, as far as confrontation goes, Ted prefers face-to-face -face rather than sneering, you know. So he's not a big Dan fan, you know. But, he's there as, like, moral support. So, here we go. Bad Sneaker starts, it's, it's in A major, the whole thing is played in notes of the A major scale, with one little exception that we'll get to. Um, I just fancy putting in the middle switch of a telly, I have no idea whatsoever what guitar was used on the record. It's a, it's a kind of, it's not, it's not, it's not a sort of fuzzy sound that's used on, on uh, Black Friday, I don't actually like that one much. Um, that's Walter Becker too. But it, it's a more, um, if you like, hi-fi sound, right? So because it's off an A major scale, if you know that scale, you can either play that as... Right? Or you can play like an A five note major scale. Right? So if you've got those, okay, and your fingers. Right? If you've got those two scales, they're quite comfortable with them, we're sorted, right? So first lick. Just push up the E knot, to F sharp and lay it down. Now this time, coming off the F sharp to, to A, a fretted F sharp. And this time the, the note hits the pitch, goes down and comes back up again. And then... So it's basically the same lick twice, but it adds a D and an E. Right, then there's a bit climb. Hits the S sharp and just sits there. Let it down to C sharp and then this chromatic line. Right, and this is the only bit where it goes out with a, a scale pattern. Um, and what we're playing there is we've got the climb. Note just sits there, let it down to C sharp. And then Walter Becker played. So, so it's that chromatic. I tend to, I'm a bit sloppy doing that, I go. So I do three and then a slide. Jazzers tend, we tend to go, I imagine, you know, with one finger per fret. But I'm not really a one finger per fret guy, but those are, those are the same notes, right? So that's B, there's your ninth note, so that, that gives it the kind of melodic flavour. Played off the major seventh, A flat. And then E and C sharp. That's just E, F sharp E, right? Then we play 
uh, sorry, we play. So that's E, E, F sharp, E. And bend the B. Now that's what's really interesting, because again, there's no vibrato. It's not played, you know, like, like, Eddie, like Eddie Van Halen. It's like... So we've got this E, F sharp, E, first thing, sorry, I played A, B, A the first time, sorry about that. But it's E, F sharp, E. Push the B. And then you've got a choice of how to phrase this one. Um, it's C bent up to D, and then B up to C sharp, and then a, and then a slide down. Now the alternate way you could play that, if you want, is you could go Now the pitches will be much harder to find like that, that's a kind of Peter Green thing, you know yeah, That kind of line, right, so we've got You can you can practice with that and get the pitches absolutely bang on, or you can do it an easier and go. Yeah, you know, which is uh, closer to the actual pitch, right? So that's that's entirely your choice. Or up to you, right? And a slide, just slide right down the neck, and then that's a lovely line. So that's A, A flat, E, then C sharp, B, so. And I think you'll agree that's a very melodic phrase in any song. So we've got the A, A flat down to E, C sharp, B, C sharp, and then this F sharp to E again. And then a repeated line. So that's, that's uh, B, A, F sharp, like that, again no vibrato, so we press the, the push rather the B up to C sharp, just put that rock and roll lick, and then Fagan sings and I'm going insane and I'm uh, walking in the pouring rain. I love this song and I think that is a really nice uh, Steely Dan solo, of which there are many. I'm, I'm, I'm a far bigger fan um, of the early albums and, than the jazz stuff, but uh, it's it's you know it's, it's well loved by lots of people, mostly from start to finish, but the early albums for me are the ones that do it. For Ted, it's like, not so much. 